Hello, friends. I'm in India at the moment at an Ayurvedic uh, retreat and uh, still keeping up with my daily videos. So, as you know, current uh, quantum physicists, at least the major academic ones that I know, uh, ridiculed the whole idea of quantum consciousness. And yet, the father of quantum mechanics, Schrodinger, Owen Schrodinger, uh, whose wave function describes every atom in the universe and much, much more. Uh, all of quantum mechanics is based on Schrodinger's equation. Schrodinger was very deeply influenced by the philosophy of Vedanta. And uh, as you know, Vedanta teaches that there exists only one universal being, Brahman. And uh, we are all differentiated aspects of that one Brahman, uh, which comprises all of reality in an undivided unity. The individual soul or Atman is seen as identical to Brahman. Schrodinger found this Vedantic concept of unity and continuity of all existence to be reflected in the unity and continuity of wave mechanics in quantum physics. He saw the wave function in, in quantum theory as symbolic or as a symbolic representation of the Vedantic idea of Atman individual self being one with Brahman, the universal self. So to directly quote uh, Schrodinger, he said, the unity and continuity of Vedanta are reflected in the unity and continuity of wave mechanics. He believed that quantum physics with the concept of superposition and the indivisible nature of the quantum world aligned with the Vedantic principle of all in one. Schrodinger was fascinated by the Vedantic idea of Atman being identical with Brahman. He even named his dog Atman as a reference to this. He saw the Vedantic worldview as providing a philosophical foundation of the revolutionary implications of quantum theory. While Schrodinger was deeply influenced by Vedanta, he was also critical of certain aspects of um, of Indian religion, etc., especially maybe the rituals. Uh, I'm not sure about that. He sought to carefully integrate the insights of Eastern philosophy with the logical precision of Western scientific thought. So, some Schrodinger, in summary, found deep parallels between the philosophical concepts of Vedanta, particularly the unity of Atman and Brahman and the holistic, non-deterministic worldview emerging from quantum physics. So, given that the father of uh, uh, quantum mechanics, uh, to whom we owe everything we know, felt that consciousness was fundamental, it's obviously he's hint hinting to quantum consciousness, as did uh, Max Planck, he said, there's nothing behind consciousness as did Niels Bohr, who said everything we regard as real is made of things that are potentially seemingly unreal. And all these guys from Werner Heisenberg and all the other pioneers uh, who formulated the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics understood quantum consciousness. So it is strange that the current uh, um, current uh, mainstream quantum mechanics experts ridicule the whole idea of quantum consciousness. I'd like to know your feedback on this. Thank you.